You know those awesome spy movies where the secret agent gets into the lab and shows a series of cool futuristic gadgets like a lapel camera or a detonation pen? Before going off on their heroic mission, we thought it would be cool to see if we could make our own spy gadget in the form of a frictionless hoverboard. Our final hoverboard design is going to be inspired by the thinner, lighter, faster, smarter Lenovo 9i powered by Intel Evo. Its sleek, lightweight design is kind of our creative north star here. So wherever possible, we're going to make our board thinner, lighter, faster, and smarter. Now, a while ago, we did some fun experiments using ferrofluid and magnets. If you haven't seen any of this stuff, you should definitely go check it out. The way they interact is very entertaining. Here's the basic idea. We are going to try and make an array of magnets attached to a board covered with lots of ferrofluid to see if it will hold our weight when we sit on it. Can we use this to make a functional hoverboard? It's actually very difficult to hold, which is kind of my favorite part about it. It's so slippery. The oil that's like the base of the, the ferrofluid is basically kerosene or very similar to that as I understand. So when it has a cushion, it's just got the magnet and then the ferrofluid is both creating the cushion and making it slippery all at once. So it's about as close to frictionless as you can get. It's creating that barrier which allows it to just float more or less. Most things have friction and this doesn't. So it's like super power that you can just turn on and you get suddenly all this crazy, crazy sliding ability. So this is really, really cool. We want to scale this up though. So I'm gonna grab our Lenovo Yoga 9i and we're actually going to plan this out. So first we're going to need to make this thinner and lighter. The way we're gonna be able to do that is by using thin magnets and ferrofluid. The name is fluid. Ferro fluid. That's a really bad spy joke. Speed is also going to be a big factor, so we want to make sure that there's as little friction as possible so when it glides, it goes as fast as it can. To make this thing smarter, well, we're building it, so no problem there, we are going to have to figure out the smartest way to test this by building a huge plexiglass floor as our test site. To do a small scale test, I just want to take a small piece of board and start attaching magnets with screws onto the board. We'll then cover that with ferrofluid and we'll see how much ferrofluid will go on there and how much weight just a few magnets can hold up. So Nate's going to be working on that. I'm going to use the garage pen and we're going to actually sketch up some designs. So it's got this awesome smart pen that lets you draw, scribble, and take notes directly on the screen and this little garage to keep it in so you're not losing it with all the other gear we have in here. Have you ever seen a cool secret agent fumbling around looking for a pen? No way. Is this gonna be enough space? Go figure, go! Hello! Oh! Thanks, Grace. I'm gonna make it bigger. I guess a little bigger. Now keeping that magnet away from these ones for yeah. our splash related reasons, I'm now going to try pouring ferrofluid onto this and I don't know how it's going to react with all of the different magnets instead of just the one. Oh, that's trippy. It's like jumping from magnet to magnet. Seems like just a really good sign. Yeah. Because now they're all touching, it is evenly filling the liquid on all of the magnets pretty much at the same time. When Callie squeezes the magnet, it pushes the ferrofluid so far away that it's no longer held on by the attraction to the magnet. You can still see it's trying to come between my fingers and be magnetic. Look at this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's see how this does when I flip it upside down. Cool. Push it to me. So we have a board that obviously slides really well. The question is how much weight it can take before it stops sliding. Now oh. I'm pushing down there. I think I've got at least 10 pounds maybe of force. Wow, and, and it's, so, still, it's still going. So it's still sliding. So I think that's a good sign. Oh and yeah. I, I think at this point we need to just scale it up. And so I think we need to put 100 magnets on a bigger board. Okay. We need a big platform to put it all on. Let's build the platform. So here's one of the smaller roadblocks we might run into. These magnets can only hold so much weight and Nate and I are pretty tall people. We're gonna need a smaller pilot for this. Hello. Oh, hey, Grace. <laughs> She's been here the whole time. All right, I'm going to calculate how many magnets we need to hold our weight. We're now building the real board to be thinner, smarter, and faster than our prototype board. Just like our Lenovo Yoga 9i. With the smart entertainment features and 360 design, we're able to use the laptop as a monitor from the lab and video chat with the rest of the team. It's super convenient and serves as a kind of virtual command center. Kevin, guess what we're building? I have no idea, but it's probably awesome. It's a frictionless hoverboard. No way. Yeah, we're gonna go test it out now. I have to see this. 
We have our board, which is sitting down here with little bits of ferro fluid on it. And now we have our lovely platform, uh, which has too many layers of plastic on it. So let's peel off the garbage layer of plastic. And, and leave, leave the acrylic yes. plastic. All right, I like it. We're also in paint suits because this is very messy and will be very messy. And it's all going to turn black as soon as we start sliding the board on it. Oh, it's going to be coated. Immediately. This is going to be so messy. $250. Just going to dump it on the floor. It makes noises. Yes. Something that's been pretty neat is Grace has been running around all day getting measurements and supplies. And thanks to the Lenovo Yoga 9i's long battery life, she hasn't had to do a lot of stopping and trying to find an outlet. Let's flip this over and see how much weight it can hold. Yes. Well, maybe we could just send it scooting on its merry little way without any weight at first. Sure. Oh. But I wanted, okay, but I do want to try it with as much on it as <laughs> <laughs> Like I said, possible. some's just going to pour off. Wow. All right, send it. It works though, guys, it works, it works, it works. Look at that trail it leaves. First off, I'm just going to attempt my weight. Three, two, one. <laughs> well, she's sliding. Pull me. Oh dear. <laughs> Super powered hoverboard? <laughs> it's actually working, guys. It's actually working. How much does like your weight distribution Oof. seem to affect it? Quite a bit. That is so slidey. <laughs> oh, that's scary. I'm not good at skateboarding or any of those types of things, so that's that's scary to try. It works so good. I want to run and jump on it. That would possibly be fatal. Grace, do you want to try this as our smallest member? Alexa, play some spy music. Three sixty. It's like bumper pool. That was awesome. I think we successfully created a thinner, lighter, faster, smarter hoverboard worthy of a secret agent. The Lenovo Yoga 9i powered by Intel Evo not only served as the inspiration for the design, but was a super helpful tool in the lab as we brought this creation to life. It is definitely tech worthy of a super spy. Now we just have to make sure that this awesome tech doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Thank you again to the Lenovo Yoga 9i, powered by Intel Evo. Make sure you check out the other superhero videos in the campaign.